This video is going to give you a quick overview of the batch processor and what it can do. So the file we have open, if we look at the elements in the file, and I go ahead and select these elements. And if I look at my tool settings, I'm in element selection. And if I see level, you'll notice there's a bunch of elements on the default level where they shouldn't be. It turns out this file and these seven other files in this folder all have the same problem. There's a bunch of elements on the default level and they should all be on level 60, non-geo data. So we're gonna fix this with the batch processor. So how do we open the batch processor dialog? Well, we go up to the file pull down, we go down to tools, and then we go down to batch process. This will open the batch processor dialog. Now there's basically three things you have to do on this dialog. One of the things you need to do is you need to identify a command text file. It's a text file that has the commands inside it. Now, if you have an existing one, you can attach it or you can create one if you know the commands. So in this case, we already have one. So we're gonna do the browse for a command file. And the file that we're gonna use is part of the training exercise. It's called select by process. We're gonna go ahead and open that. You can see it shows up there. Now to take a look inside it, we're gonna use the edit icon. We're gonna select edit. This will open Notepad, and then we'll be able to see just exactly what this one is doing. Now, this one was predefined, and this is using the Select By Attributes program in MicroStation. And really what it's gonna be doing is looking for all the elements, searching for the ones that are on the level default, and then it's gonna be changing them to level 60. That's the ultimate goal here. So now that we know what this is gonna do, we can close that. The next thing you need to do is add files to process. So we can do this from the icon right up here, add files or directories to process. Now you're gonna to need to navigate to the location of your files. In this case, I'm already there. So I'm gonna select sheets one through eight, holding the shift key down, I can select them. And I'm gonna click done. This adds it to the files to process. The third and final thing I need to do is actually process the files. So I'm gonna go ahead and select process, this icon right here. The files to process dialog appears. You'll see them all listed. The next thing you'll do is you'll hit process and then you'll see the time and it will open each one of the files, run what's in the command text file and then close it and then open the next one and repeat the process until it gets to the very last file on the list. And that's essentially an overview of the batch processor.